iMovie is a registered trademark of Apple. I am in no way affiliated with Apple. In this clip, I'm going to show you how to use your viewing tools in order to help you assemble your sequence. Now, we've already marked some of our clips as acceptable or as rejects. And if you come down here where it says Show, there's a pull-down menu. Now, you can select which clips you want to view in your event window. You can just view the favorites. So when I choose that, you can see just the clips we marked as favorite show up. You can just view the rejected clips. There's only one rejected clip here. You also have the option when you're in this window to move the rejected clip to trash. If you know that you want to get rid of it, you can make that choice now. Now keep in mind that when you make this choice, you're not actually destroying any of the video that's actually on the hard drive itself. This is just a reference point for iMovie and the video footage that you have stored in your hard drive remains intact. Okay, let's look at all clips here. So, what we want to do is view the favorites only. Okay, once we have just the favorites showing, we can now assemble our project, add these clips to our project in the order that we think we want them to appear. Remember, we can always move them around once they're in the project window. Now, the way to select an individual clip is to right mouse click on it and select entire clip. We know we want this clip to appear next, so we select that clip and add it to our project. Now, I want the clip of the cake cutting to appear next, so even though it's further ahead on the line here within our event window, we can select them out of order. Now, I don't have to hit select entire clip for this one because it's under the 10 second range that we have already set for our selection box. So I just click it once, it's there. I can add it to the project at that point. Now, I'm going to kind of close the video with a shot of this wake. We want to hit select the tie clip here, add it to our project, and then end it with the shot of the kiss. So now we have kind of a rough cut of our sequence down here in our project window. And by marking the clips as favorites, it really helped us do that. Now if we had a lot of source video, say three hours of source video or even longer, this would really come in handy, this method.